Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Only a quick one just to update you about the next possible moves because we had quite a bit of movement now on the Solana chart since my last video. And we start with taking a look at what I said in the last video only pretty much like six, seven hours ago. So short term downside expected probably to $40, maybe a little bit higher. But here we will then see a decision. Is it an impulse down? Yeah, to finish the correction off, or will we only will, are we in a triangle still, and we'll see another move up and then a move down? Yeah, and this is exactly what happened, and this is also now where it's playing out. That decision moment is now. So I explained to you in the previous video that we have here pretty much three scenarios that can unfold. Um, in my opinion, with this move down, which already was um, yeah basically announced by Solana breaking out to the downside of this channel here. Um, there are two scenarios which I prefer pretty much. One scenario is this impulse down, which I have on the chart already here, this one, two, three, four, five pattern. If this is playing out, we should really uh, have the confirmation below $40. So if we break below this swing low at pretty much $40, then in my opinion, this one, two, three, four, five pattern is confirmed where here in wave five, we would with the highest likelihood move into the blue target area between 32 and 20 US dollars. Yeah, that would then, from my point of view, complete the overall correction in which Solana is. The second scenario that I have taken off the chart, but I showed it to you in the previous video as one of the likely options, how this could develop is here this triangle pattern so that we made a wave A here, a wave B here, a wave C here, which peaked and a wave D now, yeah, and then another wave E up and then we will go down. Because in such an elite wave triangle, you would exit the triangle. Um, you can see the triangle shape on the chart here. You would exit the triangle to the opposite side of the wave E. And because we did break out to the downside of this channel in the last video already, that was just um, yeah, basically, after I made the video when we just broke out, I told you that the two scenarios that I actually prefer here is either the move down straight away or this triangle pattern. The third option, which I think has just become a little bit less likely, but of course still possible, is this WXY pattern. This would here be this WXY, and with the wave Y, we would get into this area between 60 and $68, yeah, or 69. But this will only become my primary scenario above $58. Until then, um, no, sorry, this would become my primary scenario above $49, yeah, above the wave C. Because I believe that in this triangle pattern, so either we are in this triangle or in the impulse down, the five wave move down. If we are in the triangle in this A, B, C, D, E, then the wave E should not get above the 48 US dollar level of $49, yeah? Shouldn't get above that level. So let me just show you exactly what level we are talking about here. I just need to move that down a little bit. So in the wave E, no, we should not get above $48 and 36. Yeah, this is the invalidation point for the triangle. So I would now expect if we are in a triangle, maybe a little bit lower, yeah, maybe down to $40 because we can't get below the wave B in a triangle, then a bounce to the upside to the wave E that could go as high as 4836 with the first resistance expected here at this descending trend line. That is triangle option. Decision point is now here. If we break through this $40 level, then it is the first scenario that I showed you, in my opinion, um, confirmed with the highest likelihood. Bear in mind, there is never a 100% guarantee, but that would then very much confirm here this view. One, two, three, four, five down. And because we are coming down quite impulsively, this is actually looking not too unlikely. And the third option would be that WXY pattern. But for the WXY, um, this one here, we would need to move above $48 and 36. So this is what we're looking at, these three options. So we came down to the area of just above $40 as expected, as outlined in the previous video. Um, I think we haven't, you know, it depends now, obviously we 
need to move that a bit up, up. And then we probably have reached here support, but bear in mind in triangle, we could even move down to the $40 level. So to the wave um, A, B, to the wave B low. So three options here, how it can still unfold. What you need to remember below $40, the impulse to the downside is very, very likely. If we bounce off here to the upside, yeah, before we reach $40, then it will be a triangle or the WXY. In the triangle, we cannot go above 48, 42, uh, 48, 38, sorry. Um, and from here, we would then at the latest expect a move down and then a break below $40 and then come down here. Um, and the third scenario above $48.38 would be the WXY pattern. And then it is very likely that we get into this area between $60 and $68. But from here, then we would expect the move down. So these are the three patterns which can now unfold. We don't have confirmation yet for any one of them, um, but there is a key decision moment here at the moment. And this is why I wanted to update you. So that will be very interesting to watch now how the price is going to develop from here. Um, if I had to give you my primary expectation, it's difficult. Absolutely, it's difficult. Um, it is really a guess, to be honest, what we are doing here. Um, but um, yeah, I would have to guess, honestly. I would have to guess because all options on the table at the moment yeah, I, I think, and I give you my guess, and it's purely a guess because we don't have confirmation yet, but I think it might really form a triangle here, an A, B, C, D, E, um, where then we would move down. Um, but the impulse here is certainly also possible. See, we, we will see, we will see, but I gave you the key levels here. And what is very important, that this is a corrective wave structure, yeah. Um, with the, you know, unless we already started the impulse down, but then we would need to break below $40. But that this is nothing really that would confirm yet a break out to the upside, yeah? Absolutely not. Um, as I said, the low can be in for all cryptos, but the likelihood is very low because the chart structure doesn't confirm it yet, yeah? We reached the higher level target areas for all coins that I cover, yeah? All the target areas that we talked about months ago have been reached. Therefore, all the coins have completed the minimum requirements for the correction and they could move up at any time, but we do not see here on the lower time frames the confirmation yet. And also something that probably triggered here the further sell off, something that the chart already um, preempted basically is the network outage that we have currently here on this mainnet beta cluster, a major outage. And you can see block production on Solana mainnet beta has halted. Validator operators should prepare for a restart. So this is not good news. This is also a reason why I believe that Cardano is the most, one of the most stable networks compared to Solana. Every network has advantages, disadvantages, but these problems we haven't seen yet on the Cardano blockchain. All right, that is my view here about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.